Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I would like to caption today's message, empty pages. As the page is empty, or the pages are empty. Empty pages. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 11. Now, you know that's the story of the woman who was caught in adultery. And when she was caught in adultery, then Jesus came to her rescue. That's when we spoke about three uh, against one. But there's another side to it, too, that is very intriguing to me. Jesus asked her, so where are your accusers? And then she said, Lord, they are all gone. Then Jesus made a statement, and that statement that Jesus made is that upon which we're going to write and bring out a revelatory truth. I'm very interested, not just in uh, Scripture for the sake of Scripture, but making it uh, applicable, the applicative truth. Now, when Jesus made that statement and said, neither do I condemn you, but go and sin no more, that statement is a very powerful, pregnant statement. Jesus said, where are your accusers? And she said, they are all gone. Then he said, neither do I condemn you, but go and sin no more. What Jesus did for me was a very powerful thing. He wiped the slate clean. He tore out the page that was full of accusation. He tore out the page that was full of bitterness. He tore out the page that was stinking. He tore out the messy page and gave the woman another chance. And he gave her another chance and said, listen, I am not condemning you. I have wiped the slate clean. But now you have a new responsibility. You have a responsibility. There's a fresh page before you. Go and write good things on that page. See, failure happens to everybody, but there's life after failure. Everybody makes mistakes. Please don't ask me, I've made a lot, you know. But guess what? God has the power to wipe the slate clean and give you a new slate and give you a new lease of life. And this is what Jesus was saying. He said, listen, I won't condemn you. I'm not gonna hold your past to you. I'm not gonna hold your mistakes to you. I'm wiping it clean. And it was an interaction with Jesus that wiped her slate and that gave her a new lease of life. It doesn't matter what the mistakes are. It doesn't matter the tenor of the mistakes. It doesn't matter the height of the mistake. The God we serve is a God of second chances. And he has the ability to wipe the slate clean and give you a new lease of life. So guess what? If you interact with him, if you find Jesus, if you invite Jesus, if you say, listen, I made a mistake, he gives you a fresh page for you to write out your brand new history. You know what? Everybody makes mistakes. And it is not yesterday that is more important. Your best years are not behind you. Your best years are ahead of you. We may have made mistakes in the past, but we need to rise up above that mistake and begin to write out a new chapter. Jesus was asking the woman, he said, I've leveled the ground. You're in ground zero. I've removed the messy pages. I've now opened to you a fresh page. It's an empty page. So you are writing a new narrative about you, about what your life is going to be. Now, people are going to read something new about you. Go and sin no more. I mean, don't go and repeat the mistakes of yesterday. But pick up your life, dust yourself, and move on. And begin to write a new chapter in your life. I believe in tomorrow, and I believe that our best years are not behind us. Our best years are ahead of us. You know what? Get up, dust yourself, connect with Jesus, and wipe the slate clean. And I'm telling you, he will wipe the slate clean for you, and then you can begin to write on your fresh page. Your page can be empty if Jesus comes in. It can be empty. Then you can write out a new history, a new narrative of you. God bless you. Fresh pages, empty pages. Go write your new narrative. God bless you.